Hello everyone and welcome back to Quad Ninjas. So we'll be continuing BJ's journey in the Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus. So we are in the planet Venus along with Adolf Hitler. So let's not waste any more time here. Let's do this and let's have some fun. Man, that's a long way up. Kicking some Nazi ass doesn't get better than this and you get to kick those ass in planet Venus. Last time it was the moon, this time it was Venus, it is Venus. You know what, let's do this. Holy fuck. You might call this a howling hellscape. That view is prettier than the pie supper. Phew, that was close. Now where is that coolant machine? I need that machine. Oops, it was there. Man, this is cool. Yeah, well, fuck you. There's a guy sitting there.
let the fucker come to me. What the fuck is he doing? I don't care. This is done here, let's go up. Welcome to the Ober Commando. Population, shitload of assholes. You got my olden codes, assholes.
gotta sum up. Welcome to the Overcommando. Population? Zero. Alright, so this area is cleared. I need to find my axe. I threw them here, but where the hell did those go? Terror Billy. William. Yeah! <laughs> Didn't think I'd make it this long. Well, here's to Brother Blastowitz. Toughest motherfucker I ever met. Terrible! That's some hot damn good banana cream pie right Max there. Max made! Thanks, Now, so. <laughs> <laughs> right, here's some wicked love. <laughs> oh, Lord, that's 
gonna tear a hole in poor old Orton's tummy. <laughs> Boys! <laughs> so, how was Venus? Did you bring me back anything? Well, the uh, souvenir shop was closed, but I brought you this. Holy shit, Blaskowitz. Well, I absolutely must tell you about the silverfish. Is that the name of the show? It's a very small Seeger! Yes, Paul Quicks! Listen, I'm gonna need your Nazi eyeballs on this one. I am not a Nazi! Whatever. Look, I'm trusting you to decrypt the Odin codes so we can disable the defense system and hijack the outsmarts. Yes, Paul Chris. But please stop calling me a Nazi. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Did I hurt your Nazi feelings? Suck it up, princess. You still here? <laughs> oh, what the fuck? God damn it. Oh, shit. Now it's on. Brothers and sisters, thank you very much. Tomorrow we are gonna shoot Nazis until we run out of bullets. But tonight, tonight is for Blast We've done barley, but I think, well, I like rye, but he usually does corn. And then we can is still drunk, and we're supposed to be in the air by now. Can he fly in this condition? Well, he sure can't fucking fly with one arm. Okay, Horton, Anya, get him some coffee or something to sober him up. And Blaskowitz, fly Fergus's fucking arm before this whole operation turns into a shit show? God damn. Hey. Fergus? Fergus. Fergus. Hey, wake Can up. Can you hear me? Hey. Fergus, it's Anya. Hey! Come on! Oh. Alright, let's find his fucking arm. I tell you, when a man's gonna teach to the drunk and disorderly, there's only one cure. Looking for Ferguson's oh, arm, mister? Sorry to disappoint you, but I was kinda too busy getting wasted to pay attention. No, sir, I haven't seen Ferguson's arm here or anywhere again. Mr. Blaskowicz, I require your help. I have a friend, Mr. Stubbins. 
He forgot to take brain medication pills, and now he's mad in head. To old crew quarters he went, refusing to come out. He took Seth's microwave traps, using them to keep everyone away. We need to get him out of there quickly so I can give him medication pills for his brain. And please, not to hurt him any more than you have to. All right, let's go to Club Chrysal. Is it chili pepper, right? Uh huh, two teaspoons. Hey, Captain. I know I've seen chili pepper. I speak to Fergus at party. Both arms were attached to shoulders. I think. Hey, Terra Billy. I might have some information for you. Hey, Parish Jack. So, I'm looking for Fergus's arm. You seen that thing? You know, I did see Fergus late last night. See that lass over there? Christ, man, don't look. Yeah, I was meaning to give her this rose, and uh, I wanted to say something romantic here. Yeah, romantic, right? No, oh, on occasion. <laughs> right. Nothing sleazy. Uh, she's a good lass, and mm. I want her to know I'm an honorable man. So, how's this? Maria, ever since I saw you, I've been wanting to do this. And then, I hunted the rose and I say, this rose is a symbol of my good intention. I hope you'll consider going out with me. If it's honest and from the heart, it's all that matters. Then I'm nervous. I don't want to fuck this up. Let me play something to set the mood. <laughs> Since I saw you, I've been wanting to do this. seen a man that angry. Thanks. All right, so that was Fergus's story. Perhaps you could find the time to assist me, Captain. Sir. Section 66G was sealed off because of a, a gas leak 
back when you first took over the U-boat. Now there is something rotting in there and we have to get rid of it. We have a serious fly infestation on our hands. You have that extraordinary constrictor harness and so I speculated you could venture into section 66G through the ventilation system and turn off the gas so that I may send a cleanup crew in there. Here, allow me to open this hatch for you. Ugh, smells of death. Remember the gas leak. You mustn't fire any weapons. It will cause an explosion that will kill you and sink the boat. Godspeed, sir. That is one foul smell. Gracious, you made it out, Captain. I heard some awful noises and wagered there was trouble. I will make sure the cleanup crew knows the gas has been turned off.
It's a life and death situation. You all right, Dick. I was doing inventory in the ammo depot when this gigantic asshole of a rat jumped straight at me like it got rabies or some shit. Biggest rat I ever seen in my life. Big as a dog. If I hadn't been so lucky that a box fell on top of it and trapped it, man, I'm not sure what would have happened. You gotta go to the ammo depot and kill it, man. Be careful not to get bit. I guarantee the motherfucker will give you tetanus or God knows what else. Run and hide, little guy. Ain't your fault you're a rat. Damn, you got balls, baby. Thanks. Can sleep easy now knowing that fucking monster rat ain't coming to claw my eyes out. Scary shit, man. Man, what was that? I ain't seen Fergus's arm, but when a pig goes missing, first place I look is where the feed is. Ugh, this god awful book could crawl away and die somewhere for all I care. So, you were a teacher? History teacher. Yes. The old Scott lost his arm. Well, sorry, I can't be as much. Hey, Blaskowitz, I've got some juicy information for you. You know them busted up ramshackles in Sets Lab? I know where you can find them things brand spanking new in perfect working condition. Back in New Orleans, I used to smuggle ordnance through the sewer system beneath the Nazis' HQ, and I saw through the grating they kept some factory fresh ramshackles there. Might want to take a detour over there and get your hands on them bad boys. I put a full brief on the war map for you. All right. I guess we'll be getting the ramp shackles too. Oh, thank God you're back. Hurry down to Old Creek Waters. Mr. Stubbins is danger, not only to him, but to all of us. All right, so let's save Mr. Stubbins. Alright, so Mr. Stubbins is out now. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Captain. I will take care for Mr. Stubbins now. Alright, so the battle walkers upgraded. Now I just need to find the ramshackles. I just 
need to see where it is Captain, have your time to help out. Kitos, Captain Blaskovici. Stay on the platform. Grace told me to organize. Guys, I would also like to add that I got the ramshackles contraption by killing an uber commando in the New Orleans section uh, on the map called Bienville Street District and from that point on you can use it in all your missions and as of now I am going for its upgrade so let's see how it goes I know you have extra sisu from your ramshackles contraption so hopefully you can find a way to ram through the debris Honor, Captain Blaskovici. Now I just have to figure out how to get this place organized. Thank you. Thank you for your help, Captain. I wonder if Crazy will let me build a sauna in here. Speak to you, please, Mr. Plaskovich. As writer, I have habit of observing people. I have observed our friend Max. I see big sadness inside of him. Whatever we can do to help him is good. I know Max has love of. All right, guys, that's Maybe it for today. We'll be back with more of Wolfenstein 2: The New Colossus. Please. And also, please kind of sorry for those weird cuts. Actually, I got lost in the map. And that would really waste all of our time. So we'll try to make sure that those are not part of our next gameplay. And as usual guys, if you happen to like our videos, then please, please do hit that like and subscribe button. That will really help us in growing our channel. So we'll be seeing you on our next gameplay. Till then, have fun.